Big Mass Creek Talk, episode number two. I want to thank you folks who tuned in last week and watched our first episode. I got an interesting one here for you today. First and foremost, check out the Mesa Branch Outdoors hat. Maybe we'll have those up for you folks can purchase and support the channel if you're interested in it. But I want to talk to you about my Helios 2 rod, rod warranties, and why they're important. Out on the water this morning with a gentleman. He went to do a bow cast, and all of a sudden, my four piece rod became a five piece rod. It happens. He did nothing wrong. Caught a lot of fish on this rod, caught some big fish on this rod, and I've caught some doinks on this rod. But the most important thing to take away from when you buy a rod is you gotta buy one that's in your budget. Certainly understand that. But consider the warranty. You can purchase a rod with zero warranty on it and it's gonna be pretty cheap. But it's buyer beware. You can purchase a rod that has a one year warranty on it. You can get one that's got a 25 year warranty on it, such as the Orvis brand. Um, and then you can get lifetime warranty. Most manufacturers in the warranty process will cover the claim and defect some material and workmanship. Things happen, guys. It's real simple. It may cost you 50 bucks. Each company's a little bit different. But what we're gonna do is, since they don't make the H2 anymore, they went to the H2 to the H3. Now, this year, they released the Helios model. So this generation has been removed multiple times. So we're gonna see, number one, what the warranty process is like. Number two, how long will it take Orvis to turn this thing around and get it back to me? This is something I do get asked when you do go to purchase a rod and it is important to understand. So we're gonna track that. I'm gonna let you know how it goes down. My little piece of advice. Got Braden behind the camera today. Had some folks that wanna know about the sets or hatchery. Let me give you the schedule have a new time video out for you coming Monday. Braden will have a shooting competition Saturday, regional shooting competition. And then after the time video, we'll get you out the Setzer update for the folks talking about the delayed harvest fishing. As far as the fishing report, um, the water's wet behind me. Debbie ain't here though. Debbie's hitting the other side of the state. And that's currently what that track looks like. So if you do want to come and fish the mountains of Western North Carolina this weekend, I will tell you that it's warm, it's hot. Fish early morning and literally try to be done by noon because we have actually warmed up since I talked to you guys last time. So anyway, you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you stuck around this long, man, hit that like and subscribe. Appreciate you folks. Y'all take care.